Hello and welcome back to JVCTR. Now today we're looking to make the Fiesta look a little bit more individual by wrapping the bonnet. But I'm not just going to be wrapping the bonnet, I'm going to emboss my logo into the middle of it. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so we start the video with the car now clean. Now, I haven't covered how I clean the car because I've already done that when I wrapped my roof. So I'll pop a link to the video up there if you want to see how I've just cleaned the car. The only difference I would say was the bonnet. I needed to pay special attention to the bonnet because of the wrap. Um, in fact, the only thing I changed from my normal routine was a little bit of a clay bar. So use a clay bar in nice straight motion so you don't get swirl marks um, and then wash that panel once again. Of course, if you're wrapping the whole car, you have to touch the whole car, but today, just in the bonnet, so that works quite well. Um, if you're doing an older car, I'd probably recommend you also check for little black spots on the paintwork. That will be either iron or tar, at which point you'll need to use an iron or tar remover, or both, if it's really bad, but this car is relatively new, and it's, yeah, it just didn't need it. So, um, yeah, and of course, no protective coating, nothing like that, so yeah. We're pretty much good to go on the wrap in front, but before I get it in the garage and we start, um, I'm also going to be changing these decals here. Um, so these were put on for Ford Fair to match my old wheels. Uh, now I've obviously changed the wheels. These don't quite match. They're not far off, but they don't quite match. Um, so I'll be removing these uh, and replacing them with something else. But the reason I'm drawing attention to these now is because uh, when I applied these, I panel wiped the window. Now panel wipes basically uh, a bit of rubbing alcohol, which we'll also use in the bonnet in a minute. Um, but yeah, these have been on for sort of six, seven months now. So um, yeah, they've done really well. They've been washed quite nicely. And on the other side, I applied the same stickers, but without panel wipe. And as you can see, there is a, a stark difference in the way in which they've lasted. Um, in actual fact, they came off pretty damn quickly, um, presumably down to all the window products they've used previously. Uh, panel wipe removes all of that. Uh, but without doing that, the stickers just sort of fell off. So um, yeah, always use panel wipe and that's exactly what we'll be doing on the bonnet when we get in the car in the garage. So um, without further ado, let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, the car is now in the garage. Um, one thing I would say is if you are doing this at home, it's worthwhile spending just a little bit of time making sure that your working area is as clean as it can be. Now, clearly this is a garage, it's never gonna be squeaky clean, but I did hoover the floor just to get rid of the dust and stuff that I might kick up as I'm wandering around. Um, and it's, it's relatively clean in here, so we're good to make a start. Um, and I'll start by applying some panel wipe. Um, as I mentioned outside, this stuff just gets rid of all polishes and anything that could remain on the paint that's chemical based mainly, uh, just to really ensure that the wrap has good adhesion. And as always, we're gonna wanna go right the way around all the edges, just because they're the most important part. If the edges come up, then it's gonna look a bit nasty. So um, yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> Now, as you can see, uh, I've put a little block of wood across the mechanism just to sort of hold the bonnet up a little, give me a little space around the edge and it just makes it a whole lot easier to work with. So step one is uh, doing the sort of embossing, if you like, and uh, it's pretty easy. So you need to get a, a vinyl sticker like this one, stick it on, and then when you wrap over the top, you'll be able to see the edges of it. 
and that will make it look embossed. Now, the reason I'm doing this, um, there's a bit of a, a backstory, if you like, um, but Ford Fair, I had a massive JB logo, like this one, across the back of the screen, and I didn't apply it very properly. Um, very properly, is that a way? Yeah, I didn't apply it very well. Um, so I got in touch with the guys who printed it, which was print, print Peel and Stick, or PPS, uh, and they kindly sent me out another one. Uh, but in the end, I didn't end up using it. So I now have this one spare. So I thought we could stick that there in the middle, wrap over it, and then you get a nice little embossing with a very subtle hint of a JB logo, um, as obviously the colour no longer matches the car. So um, that's a nice way of being able to use these and not waste them. So yeah, solid shout out to PPS for that because I thought I was in a sticky situation, sticky situation, lol. Um, and then they they kind of rescued me. So um, yeah, so this is what we're doing. I'll get it measured up, centered, and then apply the decal. Let's go. Cool, right, so that is all applied. Uh, I'm actually quite happy with how that has gone down. I'm very glad I didn't just stick this on the bonnet like that because I think it looks a bit weird, to be honest, with a big gold logo. But once it's got a wrap over it, hopefully it'll be nice and subtle and it'll look pretty cool. So talking of the wrap, let me just grab it and I'll show you what we're doing. Right, here it is. So um, I'm actually really excited about this. So what I wanted to go for is a wrap that was a similar colour to the grey that's on the car. Um, so obviously I'm only doing one panel, so I didn't want it to be too different, um, but maybe like a texture. So I've gone for this, which is, let's get it out of the bag. Um, it's a black, officially, although it's very close to the grey, but it's got this brushed effect. Um, now this is Avery Dennison Supreme, I got it from a company called Pyramid, uh, Pyramid Display, I think it was. Um, highly recommended, actually. Much better than the last place. And um, I'll put their link in the description. And uh, yeah, they, well, it's, it's not cheap stuff, this, unfortunately. Um, I've ordered just one metre. Uh, and I think for this textured stuff, you're looking at around about £60 a metre. Uh, if you want 3M to do it, you can look at £100 a metre. So um, if you see anyone with a car in a textured wrap, baller. Um, I certainly couldn't afford to do it, so that's why we're just doing one panel. Uh, so yeah, let's get this out of this tube and um, get it on the car. Right, um, I've had one of those realisations where you realise you've been quite dumb. Um, very annoying. So this wrap is 1.5 metres wide and I assumed that 1.5 meters wide to do a bonnet of a small car like a Fiesta would be more than enough. And in actual fact, the bonnet itself is less than 1.5 meter wide, quite substantially less. But if we look here, I don't know if hopefully you can see it, this concave here is actually quite long at the widest point. Now, when you're applying a wrap, that means that wrap's got to go all the way around. And clearly, if you take that into account and the lip underneath, um, this, unfortunately, is not wide enough, which means I can't complete the video today, which is annoying, to say the least. So if I move that up there, I have a new plan. So to, in order to make wrap wider, I guess, uh, or wrap a wide bonnet, um, you generally do a join across a seam. Um, this seam here looks to be ideal. But as I mentioned, this stuff's really expensive. Um, not entirely sure I really want to pay another 60 quid plus delivery. So, um, got an idea. We'll put gloss black, um, still high quality wrap, a little bit cheaper. And we'll do gloss black, black on these little strips, same over there. Um, and then we'll just do the brush black in the middle with the embossed emblem in the middle. Um, and I think that would look quite nice. And the fact that we've also got an edge, which is a definitive edge, making that join, especially with the textured stuff, um, will make it a little, a little easier on the eye. Because as a beginner, I'm not entirely sure I can join textured wrap effectively 
uh, without it looking a bit rubbish. So um, we'll do a gloss black on these little wing things here, same on the other side, and then like the center V with this. So um, when I've got some more wrap, I'll be back. Right then, so I'm back. Uh, and as you can see, we have some gloss black wrap over here and my original brushed black over here. And as we have changed the design, um, it kind of means we need to undo some of the work that we did last time. Uh, mainly this bad boy. Um, this is going to have to come off, unfortunately, um, although I do have a spare sticker, which is good news. Um, so, new plan is gloss black the entire bonnet, uh, so it's all black, obviously. Um, that way, uh, we don't have to join any kind of film or anything. Uh, should make it a little bit easier. And then I'll do brush black over the top um, and we'll follow the bonnet lines with some knifeless tape on both sides. And that should give us a nice sort of like V. Um, and then we'll put the sticker on top of the brush black and underneath, sorry, on top of the gloss black and underneath the brush black. Uh, and that should give us the embossed look we want in the middle of the brushed wrap. So that's the plan. And then if I've got time and enough wrap, um, I will also follow it down to cover this bit as well because the Fiesta bonnet, it stops quite high up the car, um, which might look, make a wrapped bonnet look a bit strange. Um, so yeah, if I've got enough wrap, I will also follow that line down there and we'll have a brushed center in the middle and then gloss black will probably go all the way around to the edge of the headlight. Or at least that's the plan. Well, that was a whole lot smoother than I was expecting. Um, so now we can start pulling it around and glassing it. Don't worry about all these wrinkles and stuff because I've literally just placed it on the car as I'm on my own. Um, with the Avery Supreme stuff, it is really good at being lifted up, put down, lifted up, put down. And it's not until you put that final heat on it that it really, really sticks. Um, so having it like this is, is fine um, as far as we're concerned. So we can now start pulling around and getting it looking right. Right, so that is stretched, pulled, and massaged into all the right places. I'm pretty happy with how that is sitting now. Um, the only thing I would say is with the Fiesta, the drop-off on the edge of the bonnet, same on that side, is quite severe, I would say. Um, so my plan is to squeegee down the top section, uh, which is gonna be the, the brush black eventually. We'll get that squeegee down and lock that in. Um, and then before we squeegee down the, the sort of drop-down sections on the side, uh, what I'll do is I'll release the tension from the side and lay it into that little gap. Um, that way we shouldn't have any tension on the edges, um, which should prevent the wrap from coming up over time. So um, yeah, let's try that. Right, so that is everything squeegeed down. Um, it's starting to look really quite nice and I'm getting excited now. Um, so we're gonna do the trimming stage now, which is gonna be a two-step process, which is probably not the norm, but that's the way I'm doing it. Um, so the first is just to get rid of the excess and the second will be the final trim on the underside to make it look nice and neat. Right then, so if you're an amateur like me and you want professional looking corners, here's a little tip. Um, so here is your corner, of course. Um, you'll need a heat gun um, and you simply hit it with a very short burst of heat whilst stretching it outwards. Let it cool for a little bit. 
and then we're gonna heat it again and then once we heat it because this is like a got a bit of memory in it I guess um, it tries to shrink back to its original shape but as we've just stretched it around that corner as it shrinks back to its original shape it will go underneath the corner wrap round and look really nice and then when it comes to trimming we'll just cut off the excess underneath there and uh, that should look quite nice Right, so now we've got our edges pulled around and our corners looking awesome, um, we now need to sort of check out the underside and make the underside look pretty. And that brings me on to the weld joins that I talked about earlier. Um, so the weld seams run on, well, all sides of the bonnet really, apart from the corners. So my plan is to trim the corners up nice and close, um, just to get rid of any excess material, because obviously it all folds in at a point, you get a Sort of drab at the bottom so cut that off make that look nice and then the weld seam along the sides and the back side I guess you call it um, I'm going to go along the closest edge to the edge of the bonnet which will give us a very small line of black around these areas here but should be enough to hold it um, on the front there's the same weld seam along the front you can you might be able to see that I'm not sure anyway um, so from the front I'm going to go over the weld seam and then cut on the other side. The uh, reason for that is this is a high traffic area where you pick up the bonnet and that kind of stuff. Um, so if we give it a bit more material on the underside here, then hopefully it won't come off with people opening and closing the bonnet, or at least that's the plan. And there we have it, undersides now trimmed. Um, so again, if I just sort of show you what I was speaking about earlier, um, down the sides here, we've done only a very thin sort of wrap around because it's all it needs, um, up to the sort of outer edge of the weld seam. And then up the top here, I've almost wrapped the whole weld seam uh, and I've cut it off on the other side, the inside of the weld seam, if you like, um, just to give it that little bit extra perch on the underside because obviously people are gonna be grabbing this probably with oily hands as well to uh to work with the engine so um yeah worthwhile wrapping the top just that little bit extra um, and of course we've got one last step that is to post heat all the edges um, in fact everything really needs to be post heated with particular attention being paid to the edges on the underside um, so that is my plan now and then we can move on to the placement of the sticker which will then become my embossing and the wrap over the top of that. Right then, okay, so the vinyl from PPS is now stuck on. Um, I actually quite like the black on the gold, it looks pretty cool. Um, Maybe not as a day-to-day -day car, I think it's a bit bold. So we're gonna carry on with wrapping this over. This will of course give us our embossed effect. Um, and in order to get some nice lines to follow our body lines, um, we need to prepare with some knifeless tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'll lay the knifeless tape down the body lines where I want the edge of my new film to end. Um, then we can wrap over it and then you pull, the t pull this line out uh, and you should get a perfectly clean cut uh, that's the plan, although I've never had much success with this, so I'm hoping today is a better day.
Oh man. I'm chuffed with that. That looks incredible. Wow. Uh, the only thing I would say is the knife was taped down the edges here. They're not quite as smooth as it would be with a knife, um, but there's no way in which I could have done a cut like that with a knife, because I'm not that skilled. So um, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I'm liking that. I really like how the end would stand out as well. But it is very apparent, the front bit, that I was a bit worried about, in a sense that the bonnet sort of just seems to stop. I, yeah, it doesn't look great. So um, I think I'll press on with carrying on the brush look down round here. We should be fun because I've got a badge to get around. Um, and we'll do the gloss black around here as well because otherwise it'll look a bit weird if the gloss black just stops there. And then we'll follow the body line here with the gloss black. So yeah, that's the, that's the next plan. To wrap the front bit here um, is a little bit more tricky than the bonnet. Um, we're gonna need to take both lights out, which I've not actually done on this car yet. Uh, but in the Mark 7 at least, it was a case of these two bolts, uh, I can see there is a grommet here which attaches it to the front cowling. Um, and then there's one plug at the back and then hoik out. So I reckon I do have enough to make this work, um, but the one thing that I haven't done um, is heat this up. Um, so when you're doing a bumper, as I found out doing another car wrap, um, we, uh, we had to really heat this centre section and provide a massive stretch across here um, in order to minimise the material at the top of the bumper. Um, now even just doing this upper section, we've got the same issue, you can see all the crinkles up here and I'm never gonna get rid of those, these wrinkles and get it to lay flat. So I'm gonna to have to go and call for some help so I can heat this up and we can stretch and place it down. Um, so yeah, that's the next step. So I have a feeling that my mic is broken, but I'm not sure. We'll find out in the edit. So if I sound a bit quiet, it's because my microphone's gone. Anyway, um, now we've got this nice and glassed out, uh, all it needed was a bit of heat and an extra pair of hands. Um, it all looks lovely, so we can get squeegeeing and then we can get trimming. I wake up on Sunday morning, feel the ache inside my heart. So that is the black done, and I'm particularly proud of my little badge. I think that looks quite good. Um, so now we've just got to do it again with the brushed black coming down. Uh, we're just going to follow the body line. It's just sort of here, uh, but it'll be more evident when the bonnet's down. At first I believed I was the
my mic broke but I forgot that I had this thing. Now it's very sensitive to movement and wind so I need to hold it a little bit like a sports commentator which is not great. But anyway um, that's it for today. Um, I've got a few more finishing touches that we'll do outside when the sun is shining so give me 30 seconds and uh, I'll see you outside tomorrow when it's shining. albeit rather subtle look for the JBCTR Fiesta. Now I'm really quite enjoying these little wrapping projects at home. Um, not the cheapest of things to do because the material itself is really expensive um, but in the grand scheme of things with the time it takes to do it I think all in all quite a good quite a good project to do at home and I'm certainly pleased with the outcome. So I think with that We'll leave it there. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, the Fiesta, other car content, then feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. I, I, I,